here. It was a lot of fun. It made me strive for more in my own life. And it makes me want to do more for my community, which I am going to. Uh, hi, I'm Jalen Bond. I go to TAP Academy. Uh, today's been a pretty great day. I had a good first workshop with Jacob Diaz. He talks about higher education and how important it is and how he had teachers that had put him down all his life. And then he had that one teacher in high school that just helped him get through community college. Today has been a great day so far. Uh, I had a nice breakout session with Dr. Derek Brooms. Uh, it was really great. He taught us about higher education and what we need to do to excel in it and how to get to that point. And we just shared goals, uh, seven ways for success, um, just little steps to get farther into whatever you want to do. Me and a couple of friends came, had a lot of fun. We had free food, meeting new people. I kind of look forward for next year's too. It's actually really fun. And it's actually real nice. Today it's like really changed my views on how racism is viewed and what a real man is. And it's, it's been really helpful and it's encouraged me to actually try in school and just apply myself to do better than I normally am. And it's also helped me just to uh, be a better person in general and to help out my fellow man. It was a great experience, especially for um, minorities in the community, helping them realize that there is education further than high school and it is available to everybody. I'm definitely going to come back and try to be a caucus leader next year and uh, try to bring as many people as I can because there's no way you can not have fun at this kind of event. These are really, really sharp kids here and I can see them being very engaged in uh, the session. And I think one of the things that they like about coming to the summit is because here at the summit, we're talking about issues that they can relate to. We couldn't have had a better you know, opening keynote speaker in terms of you know, Dr. John Carlos and his experiences and the things that he's done and sacrificed for you know, this generation. And hopefully some of that stuff rubs off on our students and they see their importance and see that they then have to you know, sacrifice and it's their role to build for you know, future generations. Um, today's event, the Black and Brown Summit, was really beneficial for all of our black and brown males, giving them an opportunity to look beyond themselves, look at the man in the mirror, and really embrace their diversity, embrace their multicultural backgrounds, um, and also lift one, one another up. It's been really empowering to have us come together and talk about um, what we can do to close the education gap, what we can do to be proud of who we are and where we come from, and what we need to do to progress our communities, you know, and, um, and, and really create some positive change. We doubled, even maybe tripled our numbers from last year, so I think that um, I'm, I have an A-plus a grade for the Black and Brown Male Summit. I thank all those who've been involved, um, all those who want to be involved, come along. It's a ride to see these young men really strive and really get information that is important in them being successful and the presenters are really bringing it to them and like I said before the, the students are really engaged and it's a great event.